so as I was saying, granted, I got the car at like about 60,000 miles. Um, smart, not so smart. I think I got lucky, but it's never failed me yet. I, I used up all the warranty, so I fixed up everything that's needed to be fixed under warranty. So, which is pretty good deal, to be honest, because since I didn't pay anything out of pocket. But it is now sitting at 123,000 miles, and I have not touched the spark plug. This is the first time I'm touching it. And as you can see, this is pretty filthy but it seems to be burning consistently. So this is only the first cylinder. So gotta inspect the other three, you know? Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> compare that, man. This is a nine day difference. Hopefully it drives a lot better and save a, a little bit more gas. So all right, I'll get back to installing. And I'll, all right, so go. I got the anti-seize right here under spark plug ready. I don't know, I feel like I put too much, but all right. I guess whatever uh, but yeah I have it on the spark plug socket here and I'm just gonna kind of guide it in there just slowly and I'm, I'm just gonna hand thread it and if I feel any resistance like like at the beginning of the turns I'm just gonna pull back and reset because I do not want to cross thread it so so far it is feeling good I don't know, I'm always very particular when I change like anything about the engine component. That's crucial. Alright, okay, we got tension there. That's good. All right, yeah, I'm always very crucial and particular because I don't know. I've had some bad experiences with my past cars. So alright, here we have it. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of a turn with the ratchet and then we'll move on to the next one. I'm not going to show all of it to you guys, but I'm going to show the first one and then the one in the back right there. Right there. Yeah, that one's going to be difficult. Luckily, I have small hands. So I know people have a hard time because I see they got little big old chubby hands and shit, but not me. I have small hands, so I have an advantage. Right, I'll show you that in a little bit. Should be good for me. And there we have it. And then I'm going to put this back. This is the coil pack. Make sure there's nothing on there. Slide that baby back in. Just, pretty much can't go wrong with this back. There's a notch on there. Yep. Alright, then you put the little clip back in. Push the little tab down. And there you go. Simple. Let's do the rest. <laughs> Alright guys, we are at this stage. This is the last one. Basically, just pop that up with my thumb like that. And make sure the tabs are all the way. Pull it back. There we go. Like that, as such. Move it out the way. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm able to pull this part of the out. Or the uh, boot. See what I did? I put a little socket here so that way I have leverage and I just basically well I did it with two hands though. So grab one there and then grab the other hand at the end. Should have popped out like that. Alright, let's see if I can get away now. Just kind of angle it. Not too bad. Slide, slide here. Bam! That wasn't too bad, right? And we got it, guys. <laughs> that thing is so nasty. Jeez. Engine's still hot. <laughs> okay, so now I got it. All right, let's finish up the job. Alright guys, like I said, we got everything in. One, two, 
three and four fourth one not so bad as it sounds like i said if you have small hands perfect find someone who has small hands and work on the back <laughs> um but yeah everything is assembled all good to go clips in easy everything's like butter look who's that who's that rolling in that's the neighbor I don't know how he does it. Black window, limo tinted in the front and everything. All right guys, that is it for the video. It was pretty simple. I mean, it's, you trade spark plugs on one car, you, you can probably do it on almost any car. It's just how you get to it. But it's pretty simple. Um, yeah, a car feels better. I mean, it's no like resistance or anything when I'm gassing it. And yep, yeah, it was overall, I feel like it was a good pick. But hopefully I'm going to be starting to do uh, more videos because I know I've been slacking and yeah, you know, life catches up and, you know, sometimes you just got to put certain things on pause. But hopefully I'll get back to it before, uh, you know, before January and then be a little bit more consistent. But yeah, bring you guys more videos, cruising videos, project videos. Yeah, stuff like that. Probably uh, more, more addition to the car and other cars, obviously. So, but yeah. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. I'll catch y'all later.